I really thought that there was going to be something. I well, really did. Because of Trump's reaction to it. He was so uh, negative about the Mueller investigation, he, yeah. almost to the point where people thought he was going to fire. Fortunately, he didn't fire Mueller. Wouldn't that have been a disaster yeah. had he fired Mueller? Yeah. And, and then uh, who knows who would have taken over and what would have happened with that. And it would have looked really bad. Mm -hmm. Uh, as it is, to, to have complete exoneration on the collusion thing is amazing. Amazing. To the point where CNN actually called him exonerated. And MSNBC said vindicated. And I never thought I'd hear that come out of their yeah. mouths. ABC News as well. Was ABC, on the same. Yeah. I mean, this they're all saying it's a huge, huge win for the president. And you know how that galls them. Oh, they didn't want to have to. They didn't want to do that. And that's that's the problem here. They that's thought the this, problem. They were rooting for yes. a president to actually be a traitor. Uh, what's his face? It's Brian Stelter actually had a guy on who said... You probably remember this, that the president might be a Russian agent, that he might have not just colluded with Russia, but he was a Manchurian candidate who may have grown up as a Russian agent. I mean, I have to tell you that far with this. I have to tell you what's amazing to me is they didn't they wouldn't listen. I mean, you know, the audio you just played of Obama saying, mm -hmm. hey, listen, I had more latitude and uh, you transmit that to Vladimir for me. Um they weren't interested in even talking about it, Didn't let alone investigate. Right. They weren't even interested in talking about it. Had this come back and Mueller had found evidence of collusion, I would have seriously looked at it, wanted to know the facts, wouldn't have taken it from mm -hmm. the media, want mm -hmm. to know the facts, and I would have supported that, assuming that it was real information. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If the rule of law was followed and they found him guilty... I would have gone and said, we got to, come on, guys, we, we have to stand against this. <laughs> they, they, the Democrats are not willing to do that. They're not willing not to do all. that. And I, and I don't mean the Democrats in the middle of the country. I mean the ones in Washington. They're not, they, they are operating on, if he's not guilty of this, we know he's guilty of something. That's a witch hunt. That is the definition yeah. of a witch hunt. I think the one thing that gets left out of this a little bit is the witch hunt existed from the media. It existed from the Democrats, but there's no evidence that it, it existed from Mueller. No. And, and you know, witch hunts typically find their witches. There's yes. not a lot of witch hunts that are like, ah, you know, couldn't find a witch. Right. Like this is one where they, if mm -hmm. it was a witch hunt, you don't hire Bob Mueller. For he would it. have made something you, yeah. happen. Yeah, you come out and you get yeah. somebody who's going to find something on him. And and what happened here is they didn't find anything. And I think that speaks to the idea that Mueller actually took the title of this report seriously. The title of the report is Report on the Investigation into Russian Interference in the 2016 Presidential Election. Not how do we get Donald Trump, which is what the media was looking at. Mm -hmm. Right? Like the, he actually looked at what the Russians did and got incredibly valuable information about their game plan, mm -hmm. the, the players involved, how they did these things. This and is, they actually did things. And, and they you, did they things. They did and, try to influence the election. Of course yes, they did. Just not in conjunction with Donald Trump right. or his campaign. Or and that's campaign. the other thing. Nobody in the campaign was implicated in this. That's pretty amazing. Now, they did come out with some other things, but they were not... All those people who have been arrested had nothing to do with this. It had everything yeah. to do with things they were doing also on the side, which we told you about during the election. That was one of our biggest problems with Donald Trump. A, I didn't believe that he was going to do the things that he was going to do, that he said he was going to do. He has done most of those. I stand corrected. B, he surrounded himself with the worst people imaginable. And I said, you're going to have massive investigations because these guys are dirty. And I remember saying at the same time, and yet he's raised these great kids. I don't understand it. Okay. His kids, I was worried about Ivanka, who has turned out to be good. I was worried about her with the green thing and her, in, in, you know, her relationship with her dad. Would he cave? He didn't. I was wrong on that. But we were right on the people who he surrounded himself with. Those are the people that they found were doing other Manafort, things. Roger Stone. Right. Not mm -hmm. necessarily Cohen. related Cohen. to this. Mm -hmm. 
Michael yeah. Cohen, uh, yeah, right? You know, all those people. All of those people. So this is an old problem now that has corrected itself because he fired most of those people. Yeah, all the people that we warned about, he has now distanced himself from. The only one that's kind of an exception to this is Michael Flynn, who I would not be surprised at all if he gets pardoned out of this because Flynn lied during this investigation. I never got the sense Trump actually wanted to fire him at right. that time. You know, he went he went along with it because. You know, he had lied to Pence, uh, supposedly, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and that was, you know, it's a huge problem. You got to you gotta have some standards in your White House. But I, I always, I've always felt that he thought Flynn kind of got a raw deal, and he's the least of the worries out of that group. I would not be surprised at all if Flynn just gets a pardon from the president on this. Uh, but, you know, the, the other people, like, you know, people like Manafort who were doing things years and years and years ago that got, you know, caught for all sorts of stuff. I mean, those are really and bad people. Trump was and, wrong on, on Manafort. He came out and said Manafort got a bad, uh, raw deal. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's only serving, I think, seven years. Uh, he should be in jail for the rest of his life. That guy was a bad guy long before he met uh, Donald Trump. What he was doing mm -hmm. uh, with oh, Ukraine yeah. was absolutely unrelated terrible. to Trump. Completely, completely, completely unrelated. unrelated. Right. Completely unrelated. Yeah, that guy was a criminal long before he met Donald Trump. Definitely. I mean, look, they, they did, I think it was a half dozen Trump associates got indicted, all of them, though, for either things completely unrelated or lying to investigators. Good lesson to not lie to investigators here. 